And I really enjoyed the friendship between Boris and Elmer in the film. I think it speaks to my own childhood where I always imagined having a, like a, like a creature, like your best friend, right? But an animal that can talk. So my question is for both of you, and Jacob, you can go first if you want. If you had to pick an animal, real or mythical, to go on an adventure with, what would it be and why? That is a great question. Um, ah, I think for me, um, probably a, a Pegasus or something like that, because, well, you know, uh, obviously, you know, it's a horse, so pretty, I mean, easy to kind of learn how to, how to ride, I guess, but then at the same time, it has wings, so you can, so you can also fly. I think a, a dragon would be a bit too, a bit too spiky to sit on sometimes. That's not too dissimilar from what I was going to say. I was going to say unicorn, because I, I thought, you know, that the whole magic thing was, would uh, come in handy. And then if, you know, if things got rough, you could always sell the horn. I'm sure there's a good going price on the market for a unicorn. That's very true, yeah. So. Oh, that's a great, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> so this question is kind of a two-part question for both Nora and Jacob. Um, Nora, I spent some time in Afghanistan in 2011, so I can appreciate the serious themes that were included in your previous film, The Breadwinner. Um, but My Father's Dragon is clearly a vastly different film in tone and genre, um, emotional depth. What implored you to turn this story um, into your next feature film. And then Jacob, what about this story made you excited to take on the role of Elmer? Yeah, there, uh, that's a, 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 a great questions. Um, while The Breadwinner and My Father's Dragon are very different in terms of the subject matter, there, what's, um, there, there is a similarity in that we're bringing the world of a child um, we're bringing an audience through the lens, uh, uh, through the eyes of a child. And I think that's something that I'm always interested in um, telling, uh, like the, the story of, of a, a child's experience um, in a kind of non-judgmental way or, in, you know, in a way that's not kind of like forefronting, um, you know, morals or messages or anything like that. And I think that um, uh, Elmer, while he's not going through the seriousness of what Parvana does in, in The Breadwinner, um he's the, going through some pretty tough times uh there is uh, undertones of you know uh, financial hardship in the film there's undertones of a child feeling powerless uh in, in my father's dragon um and and while there's a big epic adventure and you know there's a lot of humor and there's a lot of you know kind of playful imagination um there are many layers to this story uh and uh empowering elmer to um, try to resolve um, his own issues, but also free him from having to absolve, uh, uh, resolve the issues of you know his 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 mom and the situation is something that we really really wanted to to explore. So yes, it's quite different, but in ways it, there's a through line through the work um, through the eyes of of children. And I really wanted to play Elmer because I he, I felt like he. He was, he was just so so ambitious and I love his dynamic between Boris and Elmer and how they really they really complement each other so well I mean they're they're so different from each other yet so similar in the same way <laughs>